Labeled as the city of joy, the cultural capital of India, Kolkata, formerly known as Calcutta, is the city with character and remnants of the British Raj are visible in its Victorian style architecture, its trams and the overall feel. It is one of the most densely populated cities in India, with a heritage just as dense as its population. This city along the banks of River Ganga is known for its culture, people, food, music, literature and the movies. Sport is the most important part of the culture of Kolkata. West Bengal's capital Kolkata hosted yet another successful edition of the McLeod Russell 2017 at the second oldest golf club of the world, the Royal Calcutta Golf Club. This 1.5 crore tournament held in the second last week of December presented the City of Joy an opportunity to see top Indian stars tee off for glory. The favourite contender in the field was 2012 Order of Merit champion Shamim Khan. After having a successful year, Shamim of Delhi wanted to end the season on a winning note. मेरा तो जो भी मैं प्लानिंग करता हूँ गोल्फ कोर्स के अकॉर्डिंग करता हूँ मेरा एम होता है मैं अपना बेटर परफॉर्मेंस करूँ जो मुझे टारगेट नज़र आता है कि विनिंग एटलीस्ट नहीं होगी उसके हिसाब से मैं कोशिश करता हूँ और बाकी डिपेंड करता है गोल्फ कोर्स किस कंडीशन पर खेल रहे हैं गोल्फ कोर्स अभी काफ़ी टफ है वेदर भी काफ़ी हैवी है तो गोल्फ कोर्स लॉन्ग खेल रहा है उम्मीद करते हैं कि विनिंग खेल ज़्यादा नहीं होगी लेकिन मेरा अपनी कोशिश ये रहेगी कि मैं अपना बेटर परफॉर्मेंस करूँ Close on his heels was veteran star player Jyoti Randhawa. The multiple winner on the PGTI and Asian Tour, Jyoti was the biggest name in the field. I had a few good weeks coming in on the Asian Tour, so I need to get more consistent. And you know, the golf course is playing the best that I've ever. The greens and fairways are in immaculate shape. Uh, even the rough is very good. So, uh, looking forward to the week, and uh, let's hope I can be more consistent so I can score in, and keep the score for four days. The 2015 Order of Merit winner Chikarangapa from Bengaluru and Delhi's Rashid Khan were also there at the top among the favourites to lift the trophy. Another player to watch out for was local lad Viraj Madapa. Viraj had been enjoying his best form of the professional career on the PGTI. RCGC was his home course and that made him the top contender of the event. It definitely is an advantage because you, you do know the golf course really, really well. I've probably hit it in all the possible spots in this golf course and I know uh, exactly where to hit it, where not to hit it. I've peaked at the right, right time. Uh, this is probably the most important tournament of the year for me because it's also a, going into Q school, I'd love to take uh, a win before going into Q school. A lot of confidence they give me and uh, incredible field out here, uh, like uh, Jyoti Randhawa, SSP, a lot of the international players, so winning over here would give me an immense confidence. After becoming the youngest Indian to win the European Tour in the Joburg Open just a couple of weeks back, 21-year-old Chandigarh boy Shubhankar Sharma was another player who could upset any big player on his day. This golf course demands accuracy and uh, because the greens are very small. So uh, it's very tough to stop the ball on the green from the rough. If you don't really get too much spin. So if you can hit as many fairways as possible, uh, you have a lot of scores, low scores out there, you can uh, you know, really go low. So uh, I think mostly the key is to be in the fairway of the tee and then uh, obviously if you're hitting it well off the tee, you, you, will, you are striking it good so you will hit it close enough. The tournament began with a round of Pro-Am, where professionals played alongside amateurs from Kolkata. Former soccer great Teddy Sheringham also participated in the Pro-Am. Fantastic. What a beautiful day. Uh, weather was perfect. No wind, no troublesome wind. Uh, nice company. Had a very nice day. We've been here a few months now and we we're lucky enough to be able to come over here and play when, whenever we uh, want to. So uh, we're very privileged to be able to do that. Thank you very much to the, this guns as well. 
Uh, both fantastic courses and joy to come and play while we're out in Kolkata. While some of the amateurs used this opportunity to observe top players and learn from them, others were determined to be at their best and impress the professionals. Today, my focus was to better my driving so that the next day, the tournament day, I could get a lot of benefit from it. Oh, it looked fantastic. I uh, really enjoyed the course. It was good to get another look at it again. Uh, I made a few changes with how I was going to uh, set up my golf bag, the clubs and that to you, so it was good to have them and have another run at it, so I've got a pretty clear picture of what I'm supposed to do on the golf course. Uh, like I said, the weather's great, the course is in excellent shape, so looking forward to a good week. This is how the order of merit looked like at the start of the McLeod Russell 2017. With earnings of 29.38 lakhs, Honey stood fourth on the order of merit list, led by Shamim Khan. With 41.26 lakhs, Bengaluru lad Udayan Mane was standing tall at second place, and this event presented him a perfect opportunity to topple Shamim Khan. The Royal Calcutta Golf Club, affectionately known as the Royal, is synonymous with the game of golf in this country. The serene Par 72 has proved to be a testing course for professionals year after year. Founded in 1829, Royal is the oldest golf club outside the British Isles. The golfing heritage and history of Royal make it a truly haloed place for the game of golf. After the break, we bring you the opening round action of the McLeod Russell Golf Championship 2017. And also, we get to know another homegrown talent, Viraj Madapa. Stay right there. Welcome back to the Royal Calcutta Golf Club in Kolkata, a venue that proudly hosted PGTI's McLeod Russell Golf Championship 2017. Rahil Ganji, a former golfer from the city who's now settled in Bengaluru, fired a bogey free 67 to make a good start. having retained his Asian Tour card by a narrow margin after finishing 60th in the Order of Merit last week, Ganji was one of the best performers of the day, sinking two 25-footers for birdies along with a 20-footer for par on the 13th. Rashid Khan of Delhi also got off to impressive starts, netting 5 under 67 to share the second spot at the end of the day with Rahil. Some of the holes that are like dog leg, you, can, you hit a short iron, some of the holes you need to hit a driver or a three wood. So you need to really need to place your ball to attack the flag. So I think that's the thing I'm going to try and do tomorrow. But in the first round, all eyes were on pre-tournament favourite Shubhankar Sharma, who came into the event after becoming the youngest Indian to win on the European Tour in the Joburg Open. Shubhankar lived up to the billing of being one of the top contenders for the title as he took the lead in the opening round, guarding a 6-under 66 in the McLeod Russell Tour Championship at the Royal Calcutta Golf Club on Thursday. Couldn't have gotten off to a better start. Obviously, I'm leading now, so uh, played really well. Uh, started off, made, made birdie on one, then I made bogey on the second, but then I made birdies on four, five, seven, ten, eleven, and nine. So, uh, you know, I was six under after eleven. I was playing really good golf, and uh, obviously couldn't make any birdies coming in, but uh, played played solid throughout. Shubhankar impressed with his accurate hitting that kept him in the lead for most part of the day. He sank seven birdies to move to six under. 
He then made pars all the way till the end and finished with a nice chip putt to save par on the 18th. This course is obviously, uh, you have to hit it straight. Like I said, you have to hit it very, very straight off the tee because the rough is up and the greens are very small and as the day progresses, it gets really hard to stop the ball on the team because the greens just lose moisture and it becomes really hard. If you're hitting fairways, you have more chances of making birdies and obviously even the lines on the greens are very tricky. So uh, you, you pretty much need everything to play well here. So uh, it's, it's, not a, it's a good test of golf. Local favourite SSP Chaurasia carded a 71 to be tied in 12th. While Chandigarh's Ajitesh Sandhu was a further shot back in tied 20th. With a stellar field in action, the Kolkata crowd witnessed some exciting golf in the opening round. Four players shot three under 69 to occupy tied fourth and two players carded a five under 65, tied at second, setting up an exciting round two along with the leader. A number of professionals from Kolkata have made their mark on the international stage. One professional looking to follow their footsteps is homegrown talent Viraj Madapa. This feels like second home to me. I've spent so many hours on this golf course. Uh, as a kid, I've straight from school I used to come here and practice till the sun used to come down. So uh, I know all the caddies, all the staff over here. So it, they're all like part of my family now. In Madapa's life, some people taught him a lot and that really helped him improve his skills. Growing up, I was uh, taught by Indrajit Bhalotia. He's, he's always been a mentor. Uh, he's been like a, like a father figure because um, I used to spend a lot of time in the golf club and he used to always be there. I've been working with um, Tarun Sardesai, who's from Bangalore, uh, and he's also helped me a lot in my golf game. We've worked on our swing a lot and uh, we've come a long way I have the opportunity to practice with a lot of greats like SSP and Rahel. Uh, they've mentored me through, through my childhood when um, I was going through a tough phase. Even growing up mentally, when I needed a little bit of help from them, they were always there for me. Viraj, good putter. It's a very, very important thing to be a good putter if you're, if you're going to make it to the top level. Um, he's got the length. Now all he has to do is just accumulate experience. I think um, he'll make it to the top. Family is not always about blood. Sometimes it's about who is there to hold your hand and support you when you need them. Madapa also described the role of his family. I feel like uh, I wouldn't, would not have been where I am without my, my family. The sacrifices that all of them have made for me uh, have been incredible. My, my dad used to, as a kid, he used to wake up in the morning at five o'clock and take me to the golf club. And, and then from there he used to drop me to school. My mom, uh, she, she travels with me everywhere I go as, since I was a junior so, and she still does. And my sister, it's like I've stolen away my mom from her uh, throughout and uh, even whenever she, she needed mom, she never complained. She, she was always uh, willing to let mom come with me and me being comfortable out on tournaments. So I think I couldn't have done it without them and then the support of my grandparents, they're like my number one fan. Madapa also shared how he used to be a short-tempered boy and what helped him overcome his angry nature. I have always been, uh, growing up, I used to be a short-tempered kid, get really upset, get really angry, really emotional on the golf course. Uh, but then I realized that it wasn't going to help me in my game. My dad and mom both told me, the day you throw your club or you do something, we're going to take away your golf set. The meditation has helped me a lot, the deep breathing, the, the mudras, everything is, has really helped me get calm. India's highest ever ranked amateur, Madapa has won many trophies. He also shared a memory of his first win as an amateur. It was in Tolliganj Club. It was in the golf course I started playing and it was quite emotional. I felt it was the per perfect place for me to win my first golf, amateur golf tournament. I think I was quite successful as an amateur. I played, I won quite a few events in India and was fortunate to win an event internationally as well. Uh, I got invited 
for a lot of international tournaments uh, playing for India. When asked about his favorite golfer and the player who inspired him the most, this is what he said. On the Indian tour, I look up to, to guys like uh, Trishul Chinnappa, Himmat Rai, because I really like their work, work ethic, the way they conduct themselves. Internationally, I, I look up to Tiger Woods, obviously, what he's done for the game, uh, the amount of work that he puts in. I think no one has ever put in as much work uh, as Tiger Woods. Success is a result of perfection, hard work, and learning from failure, along with loyalty and persistence. And by following the same, Viraj has come a long way. I'm just obsessed with the game and we're trying to just work harder and harder every day and just get better at the game and uh, just trying to reach a stage where we can play on the PGA Tour and be as good as all the guys out there, be world number one, which is the ultimate goal. A goal of mine this year was to finish in the top 10 in the order of merit and get a win. So I think uh, if I win over here, that'll, I think he'll get both my goals ticked off uh, this list. After the break, we take a look at the story of the youngest Indian-European tour winner, Shubhanka Sharma, and bring you the second round action of the McLeod Russell Golf Championship 2017. Welcome back to the RCGC in Kolkata, a venue that proudly hosted PGTI's McLeod Russell Golf Championship 2017 that offered plenty of exciting moments on as well as off the course. We have with us the talented lad Shubhankar Sharma sharing his experiences after winning his first European Tour event, the Joburg Open 2017. It was a great week, obviously, uh, you know, especially to win in the end of the year. It was my third last event. So, you know, obviously I worked all my life to win on the Asian Tour. And uh, that was a co-sanctioned event with Europe. So, you know, I got, got exemption in both tours now, which is just absolutely great. Uh, you, know, you know, change my schedule for next year. I've always dreamt of winning on the European Tour. So, you know, I'm never going to forget that week. Having a father from the army background, Shubhankar also shared when he decided to start playing golf. I started when I was, I think I was in class one, so I was seven, seven or eight years old. That's the first time I went to a golf course. But uh, I wasn't really serious about it. My dad was in the army, so we pretty much went all around India. And he was in Wellington, which is near Uti in the south. Uh, my dad was posted there that we, me and my dad actually both went to the golf course on the same day, we, no one in our family played golf, so we just went to the golf course and uh, you know, I just started playing from then and got really serious when I was in class 4. My dad was in Bhopal then and uh, there was a PGTI professional there who was who used to play on the PGTI at that time, who taught me uh, the game for three years and uh, you know, ever, ever since I've been hooked on to it. Chubankar and I, we played the All India Amateurs on this golf course when, uh, when he was 16 and I was 15, we played the final together. So we go back a long way and uh, it's always great to see uh, my friends doing really well. When asked about his favourite golfer, well, his answer wasn't too surprising. My favourite player internationally is Tiger Woods. Obviously everyone's, he's everyone's favourite player and uh, you know, he's been inspired, I've been inspired by him. Just watching his videos, watching him play has uh, you know, given me a lot of confidence to go out there and play. and. Uh, inspired me to play on the higher tours and obviously in India we have uh, Jeev Milka Singh, Arjun Atwal, Jyoti Randhava I mean, all of these guys have been a huge inspiration. Shubhankar also shared his preparation for the coming week and his future plans. I'm just going to keep playing the way I am. Uh, I'm in good form and uh, you know, I'm just trying to stay fit as fresh as possible because this is like my 10th, 11th week in a row so I've been playing a lot. I haven't had uh, too much break so you know, that takes a toll on your body but uh, mentally I'm still fresh, I'm playing well so just need a new perspective to this week and uh, we'll try and play my best.
in the second round. Round 1 leader Shubhankar Sharma of Chandigarh dropped to third place after a 70 that moved his total to 8 under 136. Shubhankar slipped to third after an off day with the putter. He made pars on the first 10 holes but then picked up the pace with three birdies on the next five. However, Sharma then dropped a bogey on the 16th to finish behind the leader. My putting was really good yesterday. If I, even if I putted half as good as I did yesterday, I would have been four under par at least. So, uh, you know, only, only my putting. I'm hitting it good as well. So, you know, I just have to keep maintaining the rhythm and uh, I think I'll, I'll finish well. Bengaluru's Rahil Ganji, the only golfer to go bogey-free through the first 36 holes, registered a 68 to occupy the second spot at 9 under 135. Ganji's consistent putting kept him in the hunt as he went error-free for the second straight day. Ganji made an incredible 35-footer for a birdie on the 12th and also recovered well from the rough to extract a birdie on the 15th. I'm pretty happy about today's game also. I shot four under, no bogey. That's a that's a real big thing for me. Two days I haven't made a bogey. I'm I've never done that before, so I'm really happy about that. Apparently, decently same saved all my pars. Uh, made a few long uh, birdie putts, but not too many. It's been pretty close. Uh, on the whole, really really happy. Looking forward to going on the on the weekend. The hero of the day, though, was two-time Asian Tour winner Delhi's Rashid Khan. Rashid emerged the halfway leader by carding the best score of 5 under 67 on day 2 of the 1.5 crore McLeod Russell Tour Championship 2017. Rashid, who had a dream start to the day with birdies on the first four holes, totaled a 10 under 134 after 36 holes to lead by one shot at the Royal Calcutta Golf Club. Rashid, lying tied second and one off the lead after round one, went on a rampage at the start of round two. Thanks to some extremely accurate iron shots, he then stumbled with a double bogey on the seventh, where he couldn't recover from a tough lie in the rough in his first attempt. However, he rallied with two long birdie conversions on the ninth and the fourteenth to return to four under for the day. I started really well. I think uh, I was four under after four holes, but uh, yeah, a little disappointed. Double on seventh hole where I was sent to fairway. I hit it right, and uh, but it's fine. Okay, I mean I really had a really good comeback after that. I mean after making a double bogey on the front, from the fairway, I think uh, it's a really good comeback, and I'm really happy with the round today. Local favourite SSP Chorosia gained eight spots to jump from overnight tied twelfth to tied fourth. with Patna's Aman Raj at 5 under 139. Five players bunched in tied sixth at 4 under 140 included Kolkata-based rookie Viraj Madapa, Sri Lankan N. Thangaraja, Chandigarh's Ajitesh Sandhu, Khalin Joshi of Bengaluru and Gurugram's Veera Lavat. Rashid's tremendous comeback on day two helped him finish at the top of the table. Rahil Ganji of Bangaluru finished in second spot in the second round, while on the other hand, round one leader Shubhanka Sharma slipped to third at the halfway stage. In our next edition of Inside the PGTI, we'll bring you weekend action from the McLeod Russell Golf Championship as challengers line up to topple halfway leader Rashid Khan. Till then, thanks for watching. Goodbye.